Good morning class children today we are going to perform a very important and interesting experiment this experiment will explain you what is resonance resonance you will learn in class 11th in detail in the last unit of your syllabus but you have to perform this experiment in the lab and class 10th also have this concept of resonance in their syllabus so this class is beneficial to class 11th as well as class 10th both now what i am going to do i am having a glass jar you can see and i am having tuning forks of different frequencies tuning fork is a device which produces pure tone pure tone means vibration of single frequency now what i am going to do i'll make this tuning fork to vibrate and you know that sound is produced due to vibration I'll vibrate this tuning fork and I'll put it here at the top of the glass jar. Now what will happen if you see in the diagram a wave from the tuning fork the vibrations in the form of compression and rarefaction will move from the tuning fork towards the base of the jar. then from the base these vibrations or these sound waves or these waves mechanical waves will be reflected and the reflected wave superimpose over the incident wave this is a very new kind of phenomena class 11th which you will study in your wave unit incident wave and the reflected wave are exactly identical waves but they are moving opposite to each other they will superimpose in the region of this air column which is bound in the jar due to superposition of two identical and opposite moving waves form a very new kind of wave ordinary wave transmits energy from one point to other but this wave is a different kind of wave this wave is confined in this jar and because this wave is not uh, traveling because it wave is this wave is not carrying energy from one point to other point it is standing it is confined in this jar so we call this wave standing wave so here as i have written this is formation of standing wave two identical waves which are moving opposite to each other when superimpose over each other they form a standing wave which remains confined in the space of the jar now this standing waves frequency depends upon many factors but it also depends upon length of the air column this is one point in class 10th you have studied about the forced vibration so that concept is also involved here when i vibrate this tuning fork with help of a rubber pad and i put this tuning fork over the glass jar then this tuning fork produces vibrations those vibrations travel through the jar in the form of compression and rarefaction longitudinal mechanical waves these waves force this air column inside the jar to vibrate since these waves are produced in the air column 
because of this tuning fork so these waves in the air column force the air column to vibrate with the frequency of the tuning fork so class 10th those vibrations which are performed by the medium under the influence of another source which is a periodic source periodic source means when i strike this tuning fork with the rubber pad the tuning fork's arms if you strike the tuning fork with the rubber pad and then touch the arm you can feel the vibration the arm of the tuning fork start moving out and inward the arm starts vibrating both the arm move out then in then out then in and that way they produce the vibration these vibrations force this air column to vibrate with the frequency of the tuning fork and since they are moving and they are repeating their motion after a definite period they move out and they move in after a definite period so we say their tuning fork arm is performing periodic motion and the force which this tuning fork's vibration is exerting on the medium and forcing the medium to vibrate that force is also known as periodic force so what is the conclusion that tuning fork makes the air column of the jar to vibrate since air column vibrates under the influence of the motion or vibration of the tuning fork so that vibration is called forced vibration and this forced vibration always has frequency of the source which is forcing the air column to vibrate so air column vibrates with the frequency of the tuning fork this much is okay but children every body has its own natural frequency to vibrate this air column also has its natural frequency with which it likes to vibrate and that natural frequency depends upon the length of the air column if we change the length of the air column somehow then the natural frequency of this air column will change so forced vibration natural frequency these concepts you will study in your syllabus in the coming video lectures but the resonance concept or phenomena is that when the natural frequency of the air column becomes equal to the frequency of the periodic force that means frequency of the forced vibration is when equal to natural frequency of the medium then medium starts vibrating vigorously with very high amplitude and do you remember in class 7th you studied that loudness of the sound depends upon amplitude of the vibration so when natural frequency of air column is equal to frequency of the tuning fork the air column starts vibrating with a large amplitude and then this large amplitude produces a loud sound so when loud sound is produced by the air column we come to know that now for this length particular length the natural frequency of the air column is exactly same as frequency of the tuning fork and the air column is vibrating with very large amplitude and this phenomena is called resonance so right now i am focusing on the experiment to show you the phenomena of resonance 
but for class 10th as well as for class 11th you will study these phenomena when this topic is in the sequence and you are having the class of these particular topics. So let me start our experiment. I am vibrating this tuning fork. Are you able to hear the loud sound which is coming not from the tuning fork? It is coming from the air column because frequency of air column is right now exactly equal to frequency of the tuning fork. I am showing it again. It is interesting, beta, na? So, this phenomena is called resonance when loud sound is heard. And in this experiment, actually, we are studying the resonance phenomena. So, we perform the experiment and then we uh, get the readings for the further study and for the graph just to see how this length of the air column changes its frequency uh, when the length of the air column changes then frequency of the air column changes so how length of the air column changes the frequency of the air column or in which way frequency of the air column depends upon length of the air column so as we can see that right now a loud sound is being heard and we come to know that the tuning fork is in resonance with the air column. So I am going to measure length of the air column with help of the scale. I will put the scale here and since this whole length of air column is involved in the experiment, so I am taking the reading and it is 32.5 32.7 if I am able to show it to you the scale is showing 32.7 centimeter length of air column so I am writing the frequency of the tuning fork which is always written on the tuning fork and the frequency of the tuning fork is 256 hertz. So, let me show you how to write the readings. The frequency of the tuning fork is 256 hertz. You know that unit of frequency is hertz. And the reading is 33.32.7 centimeters so let me write here 32.7 centimeters right now see how we change the length of the air column if I fill little water in the jar now see the surface of the water is now the new base for the air column and length of the air column is reduced now let me see that now for which frequency the length of the air column will have resonance. I am having 320 hertz frequency tuning fork and how we perform this experiment that again we vibrate the tuning fork and put it at the top of the jar and then we carefully listen to the sound coming. You can 
hear the sound it is not very loud so that means at right moment this air column is not in resonance with the tuning fork so what we will do we will change the length of the air column slowly with patience and every time with the new air column length we will do the same step we will vibrate the tuning fork and put it at the top of the jar and we will try to find that length of the air column for which the air column is in resonance with this tuning fork so let me reduce its length further and perform the experiment again no there is no remarkable sound change here we have to keep patience with a small amount of water every time we reduce the length of the air column and every time we hear to the sound coming out of the air column can you feel that now in the next step the air column is producing lower and lower sound this implies that we missed the resonance length of the air column i filled the air the water up to this level so maybe the water level needs to be lower than this level and for that length of the air column there is resonance but that we have to test with patience if the sound continuously decreases then i'll start taking the water out and i'll start increasing the length of the air column to find the exactly air column's length which is in resonance with 320 hertz i think i have to take the water out and now slowly with the water level i'll decrease the length of the air column so let me first set this till then you copy all the thing which is written on the board and i am trying to make this air columns length so that such that the air column is in resonance with this tuning fork you copy all the points i have written on the board so here i found the resonance length of the tuning fork for this 320 hertz so let we hear this sound and find the resonance length are you able to hear this sound let me put the microphone here only so that you can hear the sound clearly right isn't it interesting so now we will take the length of the air column with help of this meter scale and now the new length of the air column is 25.6 see i try if i can show you this length it is 25.6 so for 320 hertz 
we are having length equal to twenty five point six hertz uh, centimeter sorry so let me write this reading for three twenty hertz I am having length twenty five point six centimeter now what does it mean that as the length of the air column decreases natural frequency of the air column increases so now i am again going to set the next resonance length for 384 hertz till then you copy the next reading here i am ready with the next resonance this time the air column's length is resonating with 384 hertz tuning fork so let me try to make you hear the resonance sound are you able to hear it so this is again the resonance phenomena and if we want to test whether this resonance length is the correct resonance length or not then what we do we change the length of the air column a little and if the sound decreases that means our resonance length is right but for that every time when we are having doubt whether this is the exact resonance length we take the reading of the air column length and then we remove a little water and we check or we add a little water and we check so let me see it again what is the length children this time this is 20.4 this time it is 20.4 cm length and i am going to check whether this length is the correct resonance length or not for that reason i'll fill a little more water in it and i'll hear the sound again now you can easily uh, make it out that sound increased let me make you this sound you uh, make you hear this sound clearly see can you feel the energy of the sound so actually this is the resonance length we have to cross it cross uh, check it once or twice or thrice so that we don't have any doubt so now i'm sure that this is the resonance length because this is quite loud sound so the new length and you see how much difference is there in the this length and the previous length it is better 20 cm and that was 20.4 cm so 0.4 cm difference makes the sound of the resonance quite loud i will check it again if i am getting sound louder than this i feel that sound is little louder so let me cross check this length
this is almost 19.9 so since we are having difference in the reading so i have to check it once again 1 mm change makes the difference so here we need a lot of patience well i feel as if the loudness increased so the new length is well 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 it is 19.7 now i have to check it once again because loudness every time is increasing this time i made a little drop of water out because i don't want to miss the resonance length now if you hear it carefully then actually the loudness decreased a little actually the loudness decreased a little so the correct resonance reading is 9 resonance length is 19.7 cm so see how we are going to write it is 384 hertz it is 384 hertz and 19.7 cm is the resonance length since it takes time so i'm leaving you with the readings and i'm again going to set the next resonance length and that will be for 426 hertz so you note down the reading and i am getting the resonance length for 426 hertz so class i am ready with the next resonance length which is for the 426 hertz now this time listen to the sound and mark a difference in different sounds you are getting this is quite loud sound right so let me take the length of the air column and this time it is beta 19 cm then as usual i have to cross check it so i'll pour a little water in the jar and check it again what do you think the sound or the loudness increased a little but one thing more i want to mention that as we are increasing the frequency of the tuning fork the sound is becoming shriller and shriller just notice this fact beta so let me uh, see what is the length now and it is 18.8 18.7 in fact so shall we cross check it once again well i think the loudness increased so we have to take the reading once again class 11th are you getting how to perform this experiment because you are fortunate enough that you are having this opportunity to get this experiment in this video lecture 
and you can open it any time and you can go through the experiment and then you can use the uh, uh, these informations and these uh, uh, instructions in the lab this is beta 18.6 sorry 18.8 this is 18.8 so let me check it once again no i should cross check it once again and let me see if i pour a little water then the loudness differs or not well loudness again changed and it became louder so this is the reading 18.8 little uh, 18.8 still 18.8 it's not uh, much different so let me pour a little water drops of water here now if you hear the sound carefully it is little less louder than the previous one although it is quite loud and let me uh, see what is the length now it is 18.7 since i am taking some time i am taking the water out some time i am pouring the water in so that is why the length of the air column is changing this is 18.7 if i pour little uh, water in it and see what happens this is 18.8 now it is 18.5 and i think this is louder but since the, the loudness is a subjective matter i can feel it is louder and someone else can feel that previous one is louder so here to get the proper graph correct graph and the correct result we have to check it continuously no it's the loudness is decreased so let me see if it is again 18.5 and we finalize the resonance length yes the resonance length i think is 18.5 cm Eighteen point five is the correct resonance length because we got the maximum sound for that value. Eighteen point five. So I'm reading the next reading. It is for four twenty six hertz. and the reading is 18.5 cm class 11th here one thing more i have to point out don't feel that there should be a pattern whatever reading you are getting you keep on writing but the focus must be that you anyhow find that which one is the loudest 
now I am going to perform the last step which is resonance for 512 hertz so note down these readings and let me first arrange and then I make you to hear the resonance sound for 512 hertz so note down the readings so class here I am again with the new resonance length for 512 hertz I hope you have copied the readings to analyze the observations now let me hear first we will take this reading and then we will cross check this is beta 15.7 15.7 centimeter not 7 15.6 centimeter now let me see if I pour a little draw, a, a little water and the loudness changes well I think loudness increased I'm cross uh, cross checking it once again with a few drops of water now it's really hard really hard to differentiate the two sounds so first I will take this reading and then I'll pour some water out and cross check this is 15.6 and now I'll pour some water out with patience few drops now again I'll check the length class 11th please observe the things minutely it's still 15.6 approximately no big difference so I am pouring few drops more and we'll cross check again allow to settle down the water surface this time certainly the loudness is less so 15.6 is the reading but before I write it finally I'll test it again this is the resonance reading and I think you got the way we have to proceed for the experiment this is 15.6 centimeters so let me write the new reading for 512 Hertz the last reading we have for 512 Hertz and it is 15 point 6 centimeter well I wish to cross check it once again after pouring few drops more so that we don't have a graph which is not correct this is 15.6 and it is really hard to know whether 15.6 sound was louder or 15.5 is the louder one I think the 15.6 was the correct reading now children in the next class for class 11th and for class 12th 
I will explain you how to draw graph to get full marks in your practical ISC exam. So, all of you must be present in the class. I mean, all of you be ready with your pen and copy and note down all the instructions. So, in the next class, we will continue this experiment and especially the process how to draw graph and that information is of course beneficial for class 10th also. So now note down the readings and all the points. We will meet in the next video lecture with the graph.